Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to click and drag page breaks in Microsoft Excel 2007. First of all, I want to explain, explain briefly that in a previous tutorial, we had shown you how to insert and remove page breaks. If you go up here to the Page Layout tab, there's an option here for breaks. And from here, you can insert a page break, or you can remove a page break, or you can reset all page breaks. However, the options to insert or remove or reset don't always give us the finite degree of control that we need when we want to tweak a page break by a column or two or by a row or two. Let me illustrate to you what I'm talking about. Here I have this table of NFL statistics and everything looks fine. However, if I were to print this data, it would be a bit disjointed because some of it runs off the page and ends up creating a second page of data that we probably don't want. In order to illustrate that for you, I'm going to go to the print preview option. And this is going to show us graphically on screen what, what it will look like when we send this to the printer. Now, this looks just fine as it is, probably. It's pretty hard to, to see this exactly because it's, it's shrunken down. But notice I have page one of two here. And if I go to the second page, I end up having this, this kind of orphan column that runs off the first page and into the second. And it does this because it couldn't quite fit that second column in here uh, without bleeding over past the margins. The problem is that oftentimes when you're going to print, you know that the printer is capable of getting that last column in. And you really don't want to have this bled over into a second page for printout. You really want it to be listed on one page so that you can very clearly and easily see it when you print. So the way to do that is that we're going to go to Page Break Preview. The Page Break Preview button is down here. It's at the bottom of the screen, and it's right next to the Zoom function here. You see we have this 100%. Well, the button right to the left of it is the Page Break Preview. When I click on that, this is going to open a different view. Notice it gives me this window. It says, Welcome to Page Break Preview. You can adjust where the page breaks are by clicking and dragging them with your mouse. So I'm just going to click OK to get rid of this window for now. And notice, it's, it's another form of a print preview, really. It's showing me what would show up on here on page 1. And just to the right on, on, of this table, we have this dotted line here. This dotted line represents what would be the end of the printed page. And anything that's to the right of this dotted line is going to end up bleeding over into a second printed page, which we really don't want. So in order to fix that, I'm going to mouse over this dotted line and notice my cursor changes. It changes to an arrow pointing in both left and right directions. And when I mouse over that, I'm going to left click on it. And I'm going to hold the left mouse button down and I'm going to drag this over to the right. And when I do that now, notice that this dotted line, this blue dotted line that used to be here now is gone. You don't see it because it's superimposed on top of the solid line here. And what that means now is it's actually going to fit all of this into a single printed page. I'm going to illustrate that for you further. First of all, I'm going to go back to my normal view. Down here at the bottom of the page, this is the page break view. If you go two buttons over, you can go to the normal view. That brings me back to my regular spreadsheet. But I really want to check this to make sure it looks right. So I'm going to go back and look at the print preview section. And when I do that, notice now it says page one of one. There's only a single page being printed out. That's happening because I basically told it to take this last column and squeeze it onto this page. I didn't want it bleeding over into a second page. Now, of course, this is not a magical cure-all. If you have dozens of columns or hundreds of columns of data, you're not going to be able to effectively fit that onto a single page. In fact, it'll end up printing right off the edge of the page. But when you have these situations where you have one column or one row here or there that you want to squeeze into a given page, you can use the page break preview in order to manually adjust that and make it print things on a single page. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.